I will do my best to learn more of the, what is happening with Zelda before we meet again. Make sure to come back and visit. Oh, and don't forget, even when I cannot be by your side, you can always call my power sage. Patricia's back. Savak. Savak. Oh. This is Jeeves beloved Saint Seal, Patricia. She's nowhere near Saint Seal, though. Patricia is actually something of an oracle. Please, offer her some fruit. In return, she'll share a reading with you. Mm. Though, if you give her splash fruit, you'll almost certainly get a strange number of you reading. Hmm. I can only assume that the brilliance of those reading is simply beyond our understanding. Okay, let's first give her normal fruits. Come on, Patricia. Same boots for desert saints and snow boots for serious snowfall. I spared you some painful silpan. Huh? Patricia, as always, offers guiding words of wisdom. Check out them all. Oh. Dragons aren't content with silk face. Oh, surface. Dragons aren't content with surface and sky alone. No. Patricia, as always, offers any words of wisdom. Oh. Splash Fruit prophecies you shall guide you to places worthy of your time. No. Patricia. Oh. Do not fear silk holes. No, hold on. Do not feel sinkholes. Best areas wait beneath them. Huh? If you seek that revolt armor, you must rise from the underground and find a secret. Secret, I mean, main secret. Huh? Oh. Mm, no. Okay, I think she'll just repeat everything now. Oh. Number sequence. Sequence, a number sequence. Ah, coordinates. Okay, 380s. Q972. Oh, it's probably where I can walk. Okay. 38s, 2972. That was the reading Patricia gave. Oh. Just what those numbers mean? I, I haven't heard any for a long time, but I've been. Even I am stumped by them. I can only assume that the brilliance of those readings is simply by our understanding. Oh, I can't really. 2972? Uh -huh. It's not far. Okay, so let's find it. <laughs> Eight, eight, eight. What? Ah, there's always. Regis Val has granted you the part to summon her avatar. Eight. No. So it's slower. It's down there. Oh! Hang on. I'm busy. 33. Okay, it's here. Here? Uh, is she pointing me to those? Uh, maybe once I put this in place, then she'll point me to, the, to another one and to another one. Okay, maybe that's it. That can be helpful. Is still here? Can you still see your daughter? Oh. 
Now that everyone has gone up above ground again, I don't get to see Acolytes all that much. <laughs> My wife Perna must be working hard to support Acolytes. And I'm going to do a catch house for Acolytes too. I just have to be for a set cell. Shouldn't you guys kick him out now? Oh. This is the jail. You will have special permission, so you will let you pass this point. Break our rules. Break our rules was in. Breaking your rules. The only way to end up there is with breaking your, the rules. And I. What rules are there for me to break? The only rule I really know is being a vol, and they gave me pass for that. You're not gonna log sign, and there's no problem. Everyone should be here, break your rules, or try him in jail. Oh, they aren't here anymore, so I can grab that if I want. <laughs> Oh, I didn't notice that there. Oh! Okay, good to know. Doesn't seem to be much chance for me to do here. Hey! Where are you coming? Ah, you're going for the class? Sava. Sava. Ah, I said it again. Someone told me saying just write his happiness away. That's the last thing I need. I don't think I've got any happiness left to drive away. Oops, I said it again. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I mean, Hado couldn't come in. Uh, this is the last place I expect to find you, courageous one. I came to investigate the local juggler, but the sandstorms cut out my planes. Now that it has finally died down, I intend to resume my search. Link, I have been wondering. Have you found the geoglyph in the Gerudo Highlands yet? The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph shaped like a person. We intend to investigate that geoglyph as well. Now, I must finish my preparations and reunite with Kado. I left him waiting at the entrance of the town for so long. I will be half surprised if he is not left, has not left with me. Blonde. No webs. Not a vibe. Normally we don't let Vol pass through here, but in your case, you may pass. Same thing as at the door. Sava, sava. So, the idea of Vol walking around the throne room would normally be preposterous. But I will allow you inside. It is what the chief wants, after all. Go. Continue to be a good friend to the chief and to all the guild as well. <laughs> New entries. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way monsters will be able to break through. We're so lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but we must watch the invaders trying to use the waterways. As a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here, feeling sorry for myself, won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Boliar in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins in the north aren't too far. They should be perfect place for me to practice my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. It's weird that she's writing as if she was down there in the shelter of the diary when the diary was here. Uh, only Rebosa, if only we were here with us. Watch over us all oh, in these dark times and keep the zone ring safe. My head is practically spinning from all that's happening after the link arrived here. I need to write it down to keep it straight. First, there was the battle of Karkar Bazaar, followed by our defense of Gerudo Town against the Gibbon attack. Then there was the mural on the ground and the sudden appearance of the massive ancient shrine. We were guided there by a voice we come to learn belonged to my ancestor, and we made our way inside. There we fought and defeated the Gibdo Queen. Then the secret stone of my ancestor appeared and I awoke and I awoke as a sage. My ancestor told me what I must do for my people and for Hyrule. And then the central disappeared. To think all this happened after Link came here. The kind of events that follow in his wake are truly amazing. Can I? That's a super. 
Do they have different stats? Uh, okay, it was six. Ah, it's a bouncy. Okay, it was fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, ah, and this one's sixteen. Okay. Oh. I've come a long way. I don't want to go back, but I'm more about traveling. I'm sorry, I was so lost in thought that I didn't notice you. Originally, I came here to share my prize recipes with people. But that, with that done, I was going to head home. But I heard some scary rumors. Mm. Apparently, the Iga Khan has been spotted behind, behind a waterfall along the road in the Rodo Canyon. Yeah, I need a suit there. Uh, they've got to be up to no good in there. How can I head back with that weight in my mind? Ah, you came here. Sava. <laughs> oh, my darling, you have the most perfect timing. I'm experimenting with the recipe for creamy heart is so... Ah, the one that we learned there. As we speak. I just add whole fruits plus hydromelon and then a little fresh milk. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the spiritual core of the dish. A hearty radish. And then we still... <laughs> If you just if wait just a moment, you'll be ready. Hmm, I've got one. Good. Oh, great. In creamy heart soup, enjoying this sweet soup with another person will bring you both closer together. Yeah, we're ditching out, alright? <laughs> this is really packed full of love. Wheat! Finally! Tabanta wheat. These grains cultivated extensively on Tabanta plains. It's ground finally with a millstone to be used in cooking. Use it to make things such as stews and breads. I mean, that was probably that back at Rito village. I just didn't have mom money at the time and I never went back there. My husband get all the products so I can personally vouch for their flavor and quality. Hmm? How many should I wrap for you? I'll take them all. All of them. I got three left. Yeah. Eh? I just have to collect some more. Ah. I'm gonna pro, so we're gonna tea. Ah. Looking for good cooking. You can use shark kitchen. It's right in front of the shop. Huh. I can't read from here. Good. Oh. Really? Ah. What? If you're here about cooking class, it it isn't being held at the moment, cooking class. Ah. Before the St. Shroud settled in, a shy was teaching a cooking class here. You see, you can get really far in life and in love if you have solid grasp of the essentials of cooking. But she has so many students now that her other class will in you takes up all her time. So she's opened this place up for everyone's use. The cookbooks here are really useful too. If you're planning to do any cooking at all, you should definitely give them a read. Oh, it's the same. Draw is the other one. Chief Chef Arita Volume 2. Cooking for success. This is the same book as the previous game. Sometimes you win this incredible success in your cooking adventures. When this happens, the strength and duration of your cooked foods effects will increase well beyond normal. Using more than the usual number of ingredients is a sure way to boost the effects of your food. But I've also heard rumors that the light of the red moon can have a positive effect on your cooking as well. Having checked this by myself though, I get sleepy in the evenings, so I've never even seen the red moon. Let's extract. Most of the ingredient that boosts the effects of any dish that is that it has been added to. With just one monster extract, you can raise the power and duration of the effect uh, of the effects of your dish. 
However, you never really know quite how the dish should turn out. Sometimes you raise the effects by a lot, and other times, well, not so much. Uh, however, I, or Itamo, am not a man who relies solely on luck. For obtaining food, there are many in the world who will gladly pay for the dishes a chef creates. A cooked meal can easily sell for more than the individual components you use to make it. And don't forget, the more ingredients you pour into the meal, the greater the value of the meal. That's basic math. Uh, did I learn all this from experience? No, of course not. I learned from a friend, a dear friend, who was a great chef. I can't recall her, his name right now, but he was a friend, to be sure. Okay, I thought maybe it was the teacher here, but no. His name, could it be the, the royal family's chef? The cookbook we got there in the previous game was his what, right? Yeah, maybe I don't need to chew. One special effects. Most ingredients can build their meals with some uh, unique effects. Ingredients that have cold properties can help you resist heat. Ingredients that have hardy properties can fully heal you and grant you temporary bone vitality. There are many other effects to be found among ingredients, you just have to experiment. And don't forget, combining ingredients with the same effect may increase the effect's strength or duration. When combining ingredients with different effects, may cancel their enhancing effects out, so we must be careful. I, or Itamu, am admittedly quite impatient, so I always have speed increasing hasty food on hand, extraordinary elixirs. You can cook up an elixir by mixing a critter part and a monster part together. Elixirs can be made in pots, just like food, and with valuable ingredients, the elixir's effect will get stronger. You can also add acorns or chicle of tree nuts to impart your elixir um, with minor healing properties. However, I, Oritamo, am deathly afraid of creatures and would never even think of touching them. Fortunately, there are regular meals that you can cook which will produce the same effects as elixirs. Fairies? It is said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but that they will only appear before an individual with a pure soul. One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. I, Aritamu, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. Yeah, but I think this book was there and the other book was here. Oh, hang on. When do you have another one for me? I'll make this meal over and over and over again. But I've been having trouble getting my hands on that one key ingredient, the hearty radish. <laughs> However, for you, my darling, I will search far and wide to find more. Just be patient. Okay, so you can probably make more for me. Just not right now. So sleepy. Sava. Sava. Oh. My mom said it was okay if I talk to you. Oh, so they're cool with me now. That means I don't have to hide my face anymore. Yay. Oh. But also, Mr. Shai said that it's still not okay, so maybe we can keep this a secret. Basak. Basak. You're planning to help protect the chief. You best keep your energy up and heart to meal. Ah. Mushrooms are perfect for keeping your energy up. You can find them almost anywhere, and they are nature to reach. Get some for yourself for now, or in for later. We're running a little short on rupees, but game pass on the mushrooms. You could always sell me something first. Ah. It's true that you and the chief stopped the central together. How did it go? Were the were you two perfectly in sync every step of the way? Thank you for helping her. She deserves all the support you can give. Well, why would I buy mushrooms from you if you just said I can get them anywhere? Uh, this isn't clothing shop anymore. Sava! Sava. Oh. Entire today. If you want to play, let's wait tomorrow. 
get into class. Just you wait and see tomorrow. Ah, Aklet's here now. Mommy's work secret map. Gonna go look. Oh, Mason. Mama, Papa, I forgot to make some. I made great friends. Oh, I didn't get. To... Damn it. I don't know the name of the guard that brought her. I have to check with. Check the. The video later. Huh? Oh. You're the vol. Sorry, but I need to go check on the little ones right now. They are vibe from out of town, so I've been making sure to keep a watchful eye on them. Vibe from out of town. Mm. Suppose I can tell you, after all, your situation is unique. As it happens, young Rudo aren't traditionally allowed to interact with Vol. And for a vibe born outside of town, when they reach certain age, they are summoned back to Gerudo town. Uh -huh. The two newcomers are Aklet and Matson. You can easily tell which two they are. They are very small. Akla's mother, Perda, is working at a first dating shop, so she's rarely seen around town. Mm. I can't tell Akla to miss her though. She keeps going down into the shelter to look up at Perda's picture. <laughs> but I think Madison's arrival has cheered Akla up some. I see her smiling more often at least. Ah. You're like one big family. I'm so excited to see the little ones grow up. Oh, they closed. In service notes, in regards to work on the hole in the floor, with the lack of resources, the large stone slab has been used to bring the room for update. Work has been completed on the hole in the floor. The large stone slab has been removed outside the house. Please reach out to the construction office with any issues. Hmm. Saint Shroud was still around. The town was so quiet that even I was beginning to feel a little lonely. I don't really enjoy a long time, but having someone nearby lately has brought a little peace of mind. I wasn't sure for a while, okay. <laughs> when I hear footsteps, I'll unlock the door for you. Please don't hesitate to make use of it in the future. Ah. Desert Vols Powder, armor for males sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains a fire, which harnesses the power of ice to make hot climates more tolerable. Oh. Oh. Children so stock more stuff. Oh. Or, uh, Desert Vol Trousers, Gerudo made trousers for males sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. So fire is used in their creation, which harnesses the power of ice to make the heat more tolerable. Oh. Sure. Oh. Well, I suppose should dress like that now. Come on. You. Vasak. Oh, you're back. I'm surprised the guards haven't found you. Normally, they're pretty good at catching treasures. And usually, when a vote tries to sneak in town, he's quick caught by the guards in front of jail. I won't turn you in, of course, but once you're done shopping, you should get out of town before the guards find you. Oh, I see another highly of all, and all I can think about is my husband. What do you worry about tonight? I thought now that the shroud's gone, you would have at least seen your daughter. Hmm. Time for training area. Saba, oh. Saba. Ah. Long last, feels like the battle is over. We made it through, despite the injuries and setbacks. But there's no time to relax. I should. Probably head to the training area at a certain oasis. So the oasis. Not did lose your map. It's an oasis. Uh, it's south of here. The name says as much. Water is a rare commodity in the desert, and while the place isn't exactly a thirst hot spot, we could enjoy it well enough. Uh, it might. It's actually surprisingly far away. You might want to rain a scent seal from the rental shop to make track easier. Training area. Oh. Uh, it's a training area, the a training facility that Lady Ryuji set up for the town guards to use for training. Hmm. For example, the battles against the Gibdos showed me that my stamina and ability to adapt could use some work. Once I'm done here, I'm thinking of heading out there and working on that. 
uh, the place is meant for just as Gerudo, technically. I imagine you'd be allowed to use, so you did fight alongside us. Hmm, huge statues, I have no idea. I heard there is a place out in the desert with huge statues. They are all facing each other. I thought that was a known place. Hey, in your pokey, you were the one that was passed out near there. I have any of your customers ever mentioned seeing something like that while they're surfing the dunes? The Saint Seal, the Saint Seal race ended there. Hard to say, the desert has its share of statues in ruins. And of course, the upheaval really changed things too. Do you have any more information to go on? Maybe a map or something? Uh. I didn't have one, but the wind caught it and blew it off who knows where. I know for sure that it's in the eastern part of the desert though. And, and like I said, the huge statues face each other. Uh, it helps to know it's in the desert, but well, the desert is really, really big. Ah, oh, customer. Sorry, I need to get back to work. If you figure out where you need to go, come back and see me. I'll be happy to rent a Saint Seal for you for the trip. I if she's okay. Who oh, is okay? The customer seems to be having a really rough time. I wish there was some way I could help. But if she doesn't even know where she wants to go, there isn't much I can do. Oh, sorry. sorry. This is my Saint Seal rental shop. You can rent a Saint Seal from me here. Saint Seals can breeze through the desert with ease and are an essential way to get around. And all my trained ones have been caught up in the shuttle for a while, so they're full of energy and ready to go. My Saint Seal costs 20, if you want to slay, no. no. Catch. Uh, are you sure it'll be okay with it? Oh, the Saint Seal. Uh, if you're going casual through the desert at this time of night, you're freezing no time. Saba. Saba. Hey, you. Uh, you look like you've done your fair share of exploring. Have you ever seen a massive ruin uh, with huge statues facing each other? It'd be in the eastern part of the desert, I think. I lost my map, so I don't know exactly where they are. Does that sound familiar? If you know what I'm talking about, I'd appreciate it if you could take me there on a slide seal. Exploration expenses were paid in advance, so I always reward you if you help me. I'll take you there. Sark, in that case, I'll wait for you over at the east gate. Come find me once you've got a slide seal. Ready to go. Okay. Well, yeah, I won't explore the area now. But yeah, but I can easily teleport there afterwards. Yeah, let's get a Saint Seal Picker there. Probably on the other Alright, one. Slide. Alright, I hope you and your little Saint Seal have an amazing trip. Let's port through the escape. I see refers to you, sir. It's okay for me to hop on. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get going uh, to those rooms. Relatively safe, if, if possible. Okay. Oh. What's the matter? Something bothering you? Or you had it? Mm -hmm. We should be heading toward the eastern part of the desert. Two ruins and huge statues face each other. Sorry, if I had lost my map, this would be a lot easier. We're going to find it. Okay, drive safely. Hey. Look out for the Moduga. Oh, there's a Moduga here. Uh, you'd be a, a bit trickier to fight it without the infinite bombs. That was close to Car Car Bazaar, wasn't it? Oh no. Ah, uh, no, there was some other structures here I thought it was part of the Car Car Bazaar. 
Oh, we passed. Yeah, but I think from Karakar Bazaar you could find it with the binoculars or something. Hey, hey, stop here. Hey, look at that. Huge statues. They've sunk. They're facing each. Mm? Huh? Uh, this is another statue, right? It's falling over. From. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure this place. This is the place I asked to investigate. Eh? Sorry. Now that I'm here, I can really start my investigation. Oh, and of course, I have to reward you for your help. I can tell right away that this place will be worth a uh, really full look. I've got my work cut out for me. It's already interesting. Rotana said these were supposed to be ruins of the seven heroes here. So where are the other where have the other two gone? Mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing seal steering. It's exciting, just to remember it. I really hope one day I'll become as good as you. Mm. Maybe we should try getting a job at the same steel rental shop when this is all said and done. I can't really pull it up. Yeah, I don't think there's much for me to do now. <laughs> Let's go back there to the shrine. Hey. The Wakama Shrine. Moving these spheres. That was lucky. I'll have to come back and look everywhere for it. This is a stone ball hammer. Okay. Ah, there it is. Come on. As if that was hard. It's just not make it roll there. Come on, that's ridiculously easy.